Monday, the 8th of March. Hello, this is the Motor Strike Diary from Media Brooklyn. Had a nice weekend, riding the Bandit. Having some fun, going out on some long rides. I'll uh, be telling you all about that on Thursday when I turn it to Suzuki and do my final part on that. But today, it's all about taking the Ducati Monster 1100 back to Ducati Coventry and then picking up my friend the 1198F. Now, pretty much everyone who's told me about this bike, or I've asked about the bike, has had an accident on it, or has <laughs> said it's incredibly powerful and talky and dangerous, so to say easy, but I am so looking forward to it. It's one of the world's best bikes. And this thing, I'm really sad to see it go. It's given me so much pleasure over the last few days. It really, really has. I've done loads of miles on it. I've absolutely loved it. It's stylish, it's fun, it's great. 10 grand, you know, but as I say, passion over logic sometimes has to come into this. It's just a lovely bike. Just going to do one quick more last of the exhaust for you to hear tonight. Now you know why I love this thing. Anyway, I'm going to get off there, I'm going to get Chixie uh, there, the mechanic who chats through some stuff on the bike, and then I'll get on that 1198. Bring it on. There we go, Ducati 1100, safely returned to Ducati Coventry. Uh, I'll be picking up the uh, 1198 in just a second, but this is Jinx from Ducati Coventry. How you doing, mate? You right? Yeah, not too bad. You look after all of these beasts and uh, yeah. the racing fleet and everything, don't you, mate? Do. So yes. This is, uh, your job. this is your job, and you get to ride them in your spare time. I do. Which is why, why uh, you love the job so much, I should imagine. Yeah, I have a great job. Brilliant, man. Well, listen, uh, I, as I was just saying to you, actually, just uh, off camera, kind of like fell in love with this Ducati, um, when almost my brain was telling me not to. You know, it's not, you know, say price wise, it's a little bit more than the other bikes, this Catri FZ1, even like the Bandit 1200 and things like that, and uh, the B King. But, what a bike, man. So much fun. How, 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 did it, how did they make it so good? Um, it's one of those questions, really. Right, like combination things. I mean, the engine, let's start with that, for instance. 1100 twin. 1100 twin. It produces what, 95, 95, force, brake, 95 force brake, brake, and it's just in one big lump, isn't it? It's a big, yeah, it's just uh, a low revving V twin, very easy to ride. Yeah, yeah, man, you yeah. can just keep it in like a high gear and just yeah. actually like really give it some and it'll pull all the way through. And I mean, that engine, that twin itself, as I say, it's not from any of the other bikes, is it? That is designed um, specifically. It was used in last year's Hyper Okay, cool. Motor, just slightly differently retuned yeah. and stuff, too. This year's old motor has gone to a, a late revolution of engines. Okay, cool. Um, and it's just that power band that it delivers it in. It's like it's the same. Most bikes, you know, you wind it up or you feel it come on. This is just on or off. It's like having yeah. pneumatic drills. Yeah. You know what I mean? You're like, it's, it's torque or nothing, really. Yeah, totally. And the sound. We've got to go into that. Coming from the engine, this thing. You, when I came in here, I actually said to me, like, most people who come and buy a monster off you, like, it literally yeah. is because I heard one on the street. That's correct. Yeah. There's nothing like that Vita and the burble it gets. The only thing I could say could get close is the street, uh, was the same street trip when I had that, believe it or not. It's only a yeah. 600, but that made a lovely sound. It's got a burble. But then, yeah, when you come off the accelerator, if you've obviously been revving it a little bit, and it's got that little burble with it, a little bit of petrol ignites yeah, it's in there. Burble. And it's just, it's loud. I mean, the amount of times you go past people, I came past, I came to two cars today filtering, it's hilarious, I just gave it some. And it was just, it was one of those beautiful moments on a bike where you get a nice big gap and you just blast through two cars, and it's just like, wow. And it's just say punchy. I mean, you know, it's not going to do 150 miles an hour. It's what probably about 130 mile an hour top speed around there. 135. Yeah. And, you know, obviously, it's no wind protection, so you're going to struggle to hold on. Yeah. On that sort of pace. It's not designed for that. Uh, bite the handlebars, man. That's what you got to do. <laughs> just get down and look like that. I'm okay. I won't get blown off. Yeah. So it's, it's built for uh, it's, you know its own purpose. So it's yeah, man. Built for top out, you know, top speed runs, really. Well, this is the thing with it. It's, it's kind of hard to categorise because there aren't many other bikes like it, if you know what I mean. It is very unique and it is very different. Um, I mean, I can see someone buying this, uh, for instance, wanting to uh, commute, you know, on a daily basis but have a bit of fun as well. And, you know, at the weekend of a bike that's great to take out. You could go get a Bandit if you just want to commute or something like that. You know, they're nice bikes now. But this has obviously got that level of passion into it. And it is a Ducati. It is special. Yeah. It sounds like nothing else. It rides. I was really surprised by that, actually, because it's quite a squat bike. Do you know what I mean? And uh, with the seating position slightly yeah. forward and everything, and with a kind of like low handlebars, and up next to even like a bandit, it looks quite small. Yeah. But because of almost that, you're, you're over the front handlebars, so I'm pointing to the camera at the floor. Um, <laughs> it really does. As soon as you kind of let it go into the corner, it just flows through, if you know what I mean. It's, uh, it's very natural handling. Yeah, yeah, totally. Are all Ducatis like that? Because this was my first uh, one, or is it just a. Yeah, they are. They're... Ducatis trait is quite a slow turning one. Yeah. So which makes them quite quite stable. Yeah. Um, just you know, I find it's quite a natural sort of riding. Yeah, totally. Yeah, really. I'm rather surprised by it because when you look at the big torque monster I've ridden as well, I say things like uh, I don't know, just like the Rocket 3, which is obviously yeah. a 2.3 litre engine, it's a bit sillier, but yeah. 
you know, that is just a huge beast. You get on that and you're sitting on it and that's it. You're not going to filter, not going to do anything. What's surprising about this is, I mean, we talked about it actually when I came in first, is it's really narrow, isn't it? It's really very nimble and light. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's, uh, that's the trade of the V-Twin. Yeah, uh, very of course, narrow. yeah, yeah, it's half so the size of it. You can package your whole bike around the, the size of the engine. Yeah. Basically, which makes it very small to start with. Yeah. And it, is, it just makes it so nimble as well. It feels like they say the kind of centre of gravity is nice and low on this. And uh, right, right, do well. And uh, I, I'd say my head, you know, at the start of it was kind of like as much as I've always dreamt about riding Jugate Monster was kind of. Can I genuinely kind of say go get this? But it's like, yeah, if you want something different, you want something you can ride every day, but also have a lot of fun on, and something that you know there really isn't much else like it. You know, it's almost no, as unique as something like the Street Triple, the Speed Triple, or whatever. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? It's, it's in those kind of own categories of a naked bike that that does a lot, really. It is in its own category. Really. I'm at 9995. If you want one, come here. <laughs> Jinx, cheers, mate. Absolute pleasure, buddy. Shall we go get this 1198 then? We shall.